China's leading online marketplace Alibaba, is being sued by the owner of Gucci, Yves Saint Laurent, Puma, and other fashion brands. Paris-based Kering has accused the firm of making it possible for U.S. shoppers to order counterfeit goods in bulk from Alibaba's various websites. It follows a failed attempt to resolve the matter outside the courts. Alibaba said it was already taking action against fake goods and that it planned to fight the case. We continue to work in partnership with numerous brands to help them protect their intellectual property, and we have a strong track record of doing so, it said in a statement. Unfortunately, Kiering Group has chosen the path of wasteful litigation instead of the path of constructive cooperation. But the French firm has defended its action. Kiering and its brands dedicate a great amount of creative energy, craftsmen's know-how and monetary investments to develop products that speak to consumers and fulfill their needs, a spokeswoman told the BBC. This lawsuit is part of Kiering's ongoing global effort to maintain its customers' trust in its genuine products and to continue to develop the creative works and talents in its brands. This is not the first time Alibaba has been criticized over illegal sales made using its platforms. Its Dobeo shopping service had appeared on the U.S. trade representative's list of notorious markets until 2012, at which point the U.S. authorities recognized it was making efforts to combat the problem. However, earlier this year, one of China's own regulators accused the company of failing to give the issue sufficient attention, adding that Alibaba had let the abscess fester until it became a danger. The report was later pulled from China's State Administration for Industry and Commerce SAIC's website. Fake Bags Following the breakdown of talks, the French firm has filed a fresh, lengthy complaint with a court in New York. Within it, Kiering gives the example of a merchant that has used Dobeo to openly sell wholesale quantities of obviously fake Gucci products. The merchant is said to have advertised a branded handbag for $2 to $5, pound 1.30 pound 3.20, per unit, with the price determined by the size of the order, which had to be a minimum of 2,000 bags. Kiering notes that the bags are normally sold for $795 each. It also highlights that watches bearing Gucci's trademark logo had been displayed when users searched for replica wrist watches on the site. The merchant sells its counterfeit watch for $10 to $80 per piece, the complaint states. This seller requires a minimum purchase of 300 pieces per order and can supply up to 200,000 pieces per month. The authentic Gucci watch retails for $1.960. Kiering alleges the two cases are part of a much bigger problem. These specifically identifiable counterfeit products could not be sold without their assistance, but instead of shutting down the counterfeiters, the Alibaba defendants seek to profit from the counterfeiters' blatant violations, it states. The Alibaba defendants knowingly assist these counterfeiters in virtually all aspects of their illegal operations. Counterfeit Crackdown but during a recent conference call to bank analysts, Alibaba insisted it was enforcing a zero-tolerance policy towards fakes. We conduct periodic checks by using third parties to identify suspected counterfeit products on our marketplaces, said Zhou Tsai, the firm's vice chairman. And when we receive complaints or allegations regarding infringement for counterfeit groups, we follow well-developed procedures to take strict action. If allegations are posting or selling counterfeit products are substantiated, we penalize the parties involved through a number of means, including enforcing the seller to reimburse the buyer, assessing penalties against the seller by limiting their ability to add listings, adopting a name and shame policy and closing down storefronts and permanently banning the seller from establishing another storefront. More recently, the firm has announced a tie-up with an Israeli startup to offer visual markers, similar to but less obtrusive than QR codes, that can be scanned with its Dobeo app to prove that goods are genuine. Manufacturers are being invited to add the dotless visual codes to their labels to help prove they are authentic.